Okay, fuckers and fuckettes, what we're going to do today is show you how to install Android operating system. Same thing you use on your tablet or your phone, but we're going to put it on a computer. This is an older Dell um, Inspiron 810. I need my F12 for boot options. Um, boot from the CD. And this is like, you know, you, I've already run the live CD, so we're going to go straight down the installation. Um, you know, you bought Grandma that tablet for Christmas, and now she's complaining she can't see the thing. Well, hey, here's a way around that, and you don't have to give up your favorite laptop to do it. So I'm going to, boom. No, I don't want to use GPT. Boom. I want to go delete. I want to go right. Yes. That might take it a second. Okay, I want to go new. I want to go primary. I want to go boom. I want to make it bootable. All I'm doing is hitting enter for those. I want to go right. Type in yes. Let it write it. I want to go down to quit. Boom. That's where I want to install it. I want to format it with ext3. Yes. And here we go. It's going to take it a minute to format. That gives me time to have a little sip of coffee. And for God's sakes, i got to kick a fan on. Hot in Florida today. Uh, I've been back since Friday, but damn. Hot down here. It's only up in North Dakota a couple of days and got used to that weather. I should have not have gone there. <laughs> I hate Yankee country. Actually, there's some really good people up there in North Dakota. If you get a chance to go, they're worth meeting. But, uh, I still hate Yankee country just because it's Yankee country. It's not one of the, it's not one of the eleven southern states. And some of y'all say thirteen southern states. Bear in mind, two of them were two of them were turncoats. And for those of you who are going, oh man, this motherfucker is all about the Civil War. Hey, you know, I was born in Alabama. I'm not about the Civil War. I know it was about the moral tariff. It didn't have anything to do with slavery. I just have fun picking on Yankees because y'all have just as much fun picking on us. So yes, I want to install the bootloader grub. I do not want to install the EFI because this machine does not have EFI or UEFI BIOS. And that screen was telling us that we didn't want to install it as read-write. <laughs> Sorry about that, my inner key, I forgot sticks on this keyboard. So it's writing it, um, and I install it for as read-write because I do play with some of the debugging features. I'm kind of weird. I'm a nerd. What do you expect? I look like a hairy-ass biker. I talk like a redneck, but really in the background I've got a PhD in physical electronics. I just don't brag about it too much.
Okay, so there we are. Now, I'm just going to reboot here. And this machine, I don't have to press F12 this time because it will default to booting from the hard drive. pick my Android 4.4. I stayed with 4.4 because I just really... 6 is not going to work on this machine and the wireless in this card isn't going to work anyway. I'm running it on Ethernet, regular cable Ethernet, um, whatever you want to call it, 4 pair, I don't care. But. Uh, load here and you just set it up like a phone. Alright, so I know I need English. I'm American. I still need English. I think it'd be really neat. I'm going to end up giving this machine away. But, uh, I actually give computers to the local veterans if they want them or need them or just want to mess with them. I also give away stuff to the local nerd kids. So I'm going to skip on the Wi-Fi. Skip anyway because I know that the only thing in here that's working is the regular Ethernet. Um, it has an Ethereos Wi-Fi card in it. I'm going to hit yes there. Um, I'm going to shut the camera off while I log in real quick. Okay, so it's signing in now. I didn't do anything but just put in my email address and password just like I would on the phone. Okay, and me personally, I need to turn all that shit off because that is annoying. Go next. And it knows me because it's already loaded my Google account, so we know that it's got connectivity. Yep, okay. Yep. Okay, and just to get rid of the one in settings, okay, all my apps and shit are here, my settings are there, um, boom, we're done, it's installed, and if I hit the power button right now, that sucker will turn off, so let me do that, boom. Oh, it went to power save. But damn, where's the power in for? Let me just touch that baby. Key stuck again? I need to switch keyboards on this thing, I think. I'm just going to turn it off by hand. 
power button works on some of the newer machines. Apparently it doesn't work on this one. So, we'll holler at you fuckers and fuck us later. Now you know how to get Android operating system onto your old piece of crap computer so you can give it to Grandma who learned Android on a tablet but needs a bigger screen because she can't see that dinky screen and you just don't want to give up your laptop. And by the way, you can install this on most laptops. Um, I've had good luck putting it on uh, 6 on laptops. I've had really good luck with Intel and Broadcom based Wi-Fi. I've had horrible luck with the Theros. Um, other than that, we'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckettes later. I hope it helped someone. If it didn't, well, hey, at least give me an E for effort, right?